uh, was judged to be guilty. And that being the case, there's, there's been a great volume of opinion that football should change its rules. But I just feel we need to be quite careful when, uh, you know, there's different popular opinions and suddenly that's being treated as a rule of law when it's not at the moment and legitimately he is entitled to return. So we'll have to see, but there'll have to be a, a quite a difference in the tide of opinion. But I do think it may help that when they do know that he's genuinely apologetic for the consequences of what happened and, uh, and also with regard to some of the stuff that we've seen on social media. Yeah, you mentioned that. I mean, he's apologised for the effects of that night and, and the effects that have had, but he maintains his innocence despite being found guilty and, and sentenced and yeah, well, served he, that he sentence. He the first person or persons to have been found guilty and, and maintain their innocence and then been proved right. If we're talking about things in football, we know what happened, what was alleged to have happened at Hillsborough, and it's now unravelling, and we're finding it was very different to how it was portrayed at the time, indeed by the police at the time. Have you spoken to Ched, and, and how's he reacted to the news? Yeah, I've spoken to Ched, and uh, like a lot of people, you know, who've spoken to him, they're aware of how he feels and uh, I hope the statement helps in, to some extent in that and um, obviously it's not a good time for him.